Welcome to part two of Key Smash Studio's Unreal Engine tutorial. Last week we imported models, attached materials, worked on GUI, and did level transitions between the main menu and the main scene. This week I was originally going to work on movement, an inventory system, and items that can be picked up, but I've decided that that would be too much content within one video, so I'm going to split it up and just do movement this time, and then do the inventory and items next time. So in the Unreal Engine, this is your player start. This big blue arrow indicates what's forward to the player. And as you can see from this icon down at the bottom, X is the red little arrow, Y is the green arrow, and Z is the blue arrow. So in other engines such as Unity, whereas in this engine, X is forward, Z is forward. And whereas Y is left and right, X is left and right. and where Z is up and down, Y would normally be up and down. So I just wanted to point that out before we got into coding it so people were aware of this. So now we'll go ahead and start on scripting the movement. So to do that, we're gonna right click in our thing, create a new C++ class. We're gonna make it a character and we're going to call this our character controller. So we're going to start in the dot h, which is our header, and there's a few things we need to include before we start. So although it's a character, we also want it to have some attributes from the actor class. This will be components slash actor component Oops. and then we'll also include the game framework of actor and I messed that up up there okay So to begin, we're going to go ahead and initialize two functions. We need one that moves us in the x direction, which is forward and backward, and one that moves us in the right direction, which is left and right. So we'll just go ahead and name these functions horizontal movement and vertical movement. And inside both of these, we want to take in a parameter that will be our axis. Now we can move over to our .cpp and create the functions. We need to make sure that we specify the class that the function is in, which is a character controller. And then the name of the function that we're writing, which We'll go ahead and start with the horizontal movement. And then we need to make sure that we add the parameter, which will be the value that the player is moved. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that there is a value there. Because if there's no value, then there's no point in continuing, and we don't want to throw errors. And then we're going to use a function that already exists for the actor class, which we included in our header. And then we're going to tell this the axis that we want it to move us on, which if we're going horizontal, we want it to be the right vector. So we'll use another component called get right vector. And then we'll give it the value that we've taken in as a parameter. And then we'll go ahead and copy paste this and just change the horizontal to the vertical. And then obviously we don't want them both moving in the right direction. We want vertical to be going forward. So we'll change it to the forward vector. So the next thing we need to do is attach our functions to inputs. Before we do that, we need to go back here and add an include. 
and this include will also be a component. But it'll be of the input component. We'll come back to our CPP and bind an input to an axis. So to do this, you're going to type input component and you're going to point it to an axis. Oops. And we're going to call it move X, but you can call it whatever you would like. We'll go into the project settings later and specify what move X means. And then we will call the function from our character controller class, which will be our vertical movement since we did our since we're moving the x we'll go ahead and do the same for our y axis and we'll just call this move y and then we'll do the horizontal movement function. Now these two lines of code will get our character moving left, right, forward, and backward, but we also want to be able to control the camera. As you noticed, I didn't create functions for camera movement because there's already functions within the controller class that allow the camera to move in both a yaw and a pitch direction. So we'll go ahead and bind some inputs to those as well. We'll call the first one camera side. And then the function that we're pulling is called add controller and then we'll do yaw for the side input and then we'll do the same for the camera going up and down. We'll call this camera up. And the function name for this is called add controller pitch input. Now we'll go ahead and go back to our game. We'll compile. So the compile failed, but it failed because this was in the wrong direction. So just make sure if you were copying exactly what I put, that your slash is going the right way and not the wrong way. When I recompiled, it was successful. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next portion. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a blueprint class. And I just add BP. So to the end of it so that way I know it's a blueprint. And we'll go in here and we'll look for the auto-possess because we want the game to know that this is the character we want the person to control. Go ahead and compile this and save it. And then put that into scripts. And then we'll drop it into the scene. Make it a little bit bigger so it looks more realistic in the room. And then the next thing that we need to do is go to our project settings. We need to go to input, which is under engine, and then we'll create our mappings. So we called it move X, move Y. camera side and camera up. With X we want to go forward and backward so we're going to use the W key and this will be a positive that'll go take us in the forward direction and then we'll use the S key and this will take us in the backwards direction so we want that to be a negative. With Y, we want to use the A key. And 
and this will take us to the left, so this will be negative, and the D key. And this will take us to the right, so that'll be positive. For camera side, we want to use mouse X. When we're moving the camera up and down, we'll be using mouse Y. And with the mouse Y, we need it to be in the negative direction. Go ahead and close that, we'll save, click play. When I click W, I go forward. When I click S, I go backward. A moves me to the left, D moves me to the right. When I hold down my mouse and move the mouse left to right, I move in the correct directions. And when I move up and down, I move in the correct directions. So that's movement in Unreal using C++. I hope the video was helpful. Like and subscribe. Thank you and see you next week.